to another quick guide to spending, eating, playing and living smart from me, Emily Leary and Voucher Codes Pro. Today I'm going to share with you some simple steps you can take today to reduce your monthly outgoings. These are quick, practical changes that will reduce what you spend as a family without having to give anything up. Now, I don't know about you, but our biggest single outgoing after essential utilities is groceries. When you factor in the weekly shop and the trips to the corner shop for bits and bobs, it really adds up. So this video is all about food savings. Now, recently we reduced our monthly spend by a whopping 25% by meal planning. What this means is that every Sunday we set out roughly what we're going to eat that week. Breakfast and lunches tend to be roughly the same, so it's only dinners that take real planning. And then once that's decided, we create a shopping list. This means no waste. If we buy veg, we use it. Nothing festers at the back of the fridge and there are always supplies to make great food, so we're much less likely to reach for a takeaway menu. And it doesn't end there. If you know you're going to use your veg within a few days, you can stop paying full whack and buy from the reduced for quick sale box. What you should also find is that if you know what to expect to spend before you go to the supermarket, you're more likely to stick to it. And that means fewer impulse buys, another great way to save. Now, once you get the hang of meal planning, you can take it beyond dinner. With a bit of that same planning, you can have lunches all sewn up. And that means instead of wasting money on overpriced fat filled paninis, you can make sure that you have the right things in the fridge for a really great packed lunch. It sounds obvious, but believe me, all this can make a big difference. An old colleague of mine was spending more than 50 pounds a week on coffee and sandwiches alone from a certain green fronted coffee house. And now that's 50 pounds he can spend elsewhere. So take a look back at what you've eaten this week. Take a look in the fridge, in the cupboard. How much needs chucking out because you bought it on impulse and never got round to cooking with it? How much of what you actually need is there and how much will you need to nip out for later? Why not give meal planning a go for a week and see if it helps you? I'm willing to bet it will make a difference straight away and once it becomes habit, it's easy money to save and great food for the whole family. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and as ever, let me know in the comments if you have any of your own tips to share.